Well, I, I guess no storm is good, but this one is going to be severe. And uh, I would say that uh, uh, when we talk about the, the drop in the price of the commodity, when we talk about uh, the issue of, of volume and whether or not we're going to be able to get that volume out to our client, and when you talk about the fact that the client is now saying, you know what, I really don't need to buy your stuff. I can get stuff right next door, so if you're willing to take a discount, you can ship it. If not, that's a problem for us. So the perfect storm piece really is around the fact that um, we only have one customer. The, the things that we've always been concerned about are now coming home to roost in a very quick fashion. Because the other part of that perfect storm is the market has figured out how to A, get that product in the block and to market quicker than anyone anticipated. Plus, the technology that uh, everyone thought would take some time to develop happened a lot faster, so the production levels have doubled in that area. Uh, that's, that's a very serious concern for us. I think it's pretty consistent with what he's been saying over the last couple weeks, which is uh, blaming everything uh, possible uh, other than themselves on the fact that we are uh, facing a fiscal disaster. And um, you know, uh, it's clear we're gonna we're gonna have a huge deficit, uh, probably an operating deficit, which hasn't happened since the '80s. And um, you know, it's just so disappointing. I mean, we've we have wasted an entire boom, uh, two booms actually, and uh, we have nothing to show for it. And it's just complete incompetent mismanagement by this government.